what I saw uh, that was seriously lacking, especially from a black person's perspective, is that no one was talking about vit- the importance of vitamin D uh, for brain health. And uh, black people are particularly deficient in vitamin D. Now we know, now we know, and there are now studies that are coming out that vitamin D is crucial to the prevention of dementia. And, um, and, it, and they basically talk about what vitamin D does for the brain, not just for its function, but also for its protection throughout life. And they show now that things that, 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 that people who develop that dementia is because vitamin D isn't able, isn't isn't enough or isn't available to do certain specific things in the brain that have to do with brain function and structure, and that because it's not available, it can lead to dementia. So such things, from a black person's perspective, I mean, it's not, again, this applies to white people as well. Sure. But but black people are much 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 more prone to this deficiency, and I don't see anybody talking about it. That this is just one of several things that I point out. But the, the vitamin D one is the most glaringly obvious, right? It's the most conspicuous. But there are other things too that we as black people have uh, uh, deficiencies in. I don't know the best word for it, but deficiencies in. And um, I found out that white people can't go out and talk about this because uh, it's, it's, a, it's a touchy thing. It's a touchy subject to speak to a, for a white person to speak to an audience of, that has black people in it and say, yeah, deficient in this, this, and this. That's why you're more prone to have dementia. It's hard to do. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to, anybody who will have the kahunas to do that. But I can, I do it because obviously they see I'm black as well and, and all that. So that's probably one of the things, the advantages that I could, that's, yes. that's been me on, on, on board with or could, could bring to the table for you. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that's something that I, I have a question with that. Um, I mean, I'm very aware of the importance of vitamin D and make sure I get it and and whatnot. If yeah. somebody is low in vitamin D, mm-hmm. can't and they start it, is it something that the past damage they can't make? You know, if they start on vitamin D, if they find out from you, oh, you know, maybe my loved one is low on vitamin D. A, I should take them and get it checked. But if I start them on it. Can it improve their um, their cognitive cognition? Well, if it's really, really mild, maybe. Uh, what I tell people is that vitamin D is important for, for prevention. <laughs> now, once you've gotten full blown, once you've developed or been diagnosed with dementia, you're no longer preventing anything. You're trying to yeah. fix the damage. Right. So you you're definitely going to need the big guns, much, much, much more powerful things. And I, I, I do, I, I do that myself. I, uh, so I've spent a lot, most of my life sourcing for the right uh, solutions right. to, to brain problems. Um, I obviously I don't, I don't publicize it because obviously it's, <laughs> that's a big touchy, touchy, touchy subject, but back home would they call me and, and we, ha- I have three people all over the place being treated with using our our approach and we use several different things and the bottom line is that we're trying to get the right nutrients and the right in the right doses that will help nourish restore strengthen repair the damage that's been done in the brain and many times we are able to move the needle significantly yeah so yes we're able to do that but vitamin d is not going to do it you're going to need vitamin d regardless i mean regardless whether you have it or you don't have it but it's not going to uh reverse anything it's not gonna yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah 